Now, who else would like to? Yes, Sorry, not. Just, um, yes, not right, not you, the person behind you. Oh, you okay. had one guess. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's a very late question. It follows on a little bit from the last one. I suppose it's mostly aimed at uh, sand people with all right. those lovely pots and fun wear around the place. All sorts of different shapes, textures. Uh, some warped, some cracked, some splodged. Do any of the abstract artists have ones that they do and they reject? And they say, no, I don't want anybody to see those. Or because it's from within, does it all go? Sandy, did you hear that all right? Uh, do, I, do I do pieces that, um, that I don't want people to see? Is that what yeah. that I don't think have worked? Yeah. yeah, I do sometimes, yes. And it's usually because I'm... Um, um, agitated or trying to do something or I haven't let go of so something I'm holding on to that I haven't let go of. You mean something psychological? Yes, yeah. you know, it's to do with you know, how I am internally. It's not, uh, and if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm in the right state myself, you know, uh, n I'm calm, if I'm calm, um, it's like I can go through a doorway into this place where anything is possible. And then, then I very rarely re reject things that happened then. Um, and I, I notice that the things I reject are if I've been in too much of a hurry or I haven't been, I haven't calmed myself down, I haven't gone through the doorway. Um, <coughs> and uh, that's, yeah, so I do, you know, yeah, not, not everything works at all. No, not at all. But so Sam, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I break it up, I've got a hammer. I don't even want to look at it, never mind letting anybody else see it. Yes. But the sound of variation on that theme, you were telling me how last week or a few days ago, the, the mighty piece standing in the middle there, you came in in the morning and that had fallen apart. Yes, what did that yes. say to you? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, I was just going to say also that, you know, we have been talking about painting a lot, and my work is painterly, that's true, and I'm delighted to be, um, you know, part of this. Um, but I also think about what Herbert Reed said about pottery being the most abstract art, and I can't remember the full quote, but it's something, you know, it does include that. And that, I made an archetypal pot, I made that big pot on there um, last week, when I was getting a bit, uh, I need some more stuff, uh, I, I had one, so let's make a pot in a day. So that was the biggest pot I could make in a day, I made it in a day, put some, uh, in, made it with black clay, put some white slip on it, which is sort of very soft, and clay is very soft when it's soft, and it, it, you, know, you, you can't make huge things because it just collapses. It's earth, you're working with plastic earth. And so I finished the pot, you know, it was a larger version of that one on, on the back, you know, an archetypal sort of pot shape. Um, went home, feeling very pleased with myself, came back in, well, actually I didn't even get a chance to come back here, shouldn't my assistant ran over and he, he, he said, he said, there's a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> And the pot had collapsed, it had collapsed, and, and it was only bits on the floor, so um, I, I put it back together again, and, uh, um, and actually it's sort of, you know, it's just why it's got quite an idiosyncratic shape, and I really like it because, you know, it's had a life, you know, it's collapsed, and it's, you know, I've Risen done from that. the dead. Yeah, and I've done that, I can identify that, so uh, why but am I saying all of that? Was that because you hadn't been through the door as well? You were stressed and you were no, thinking of everything? I was in a hurry, I was in yeah. a hurry, yes, I mean, I, I was good when I was doing the pot, when I was absolutely doing the pot, and, um, and that's why the, I'd like the pot in the first place, which is why I wanted to save it, and I was very disappointed, um, but, I, you know, I have got to also the thing about going through the door and being calm is it's being in a heightened state of awareness so that I don't actually um, uh, lose track of uh, all the practical things that have to be done. You know, when you're driving a car, you can be very relaxed and you know that you have to sort of observe, observe all of these things and you know you've got to change gear when you've got to change gear. There's a lot of practical things that you have to remember while you're driving a car and I just lost, lost sight of, in my ex excitement, I lost sight of the practicality of what can happen when you put too much slip onto a, a soft clay pot and, um, um, uh, and because the pot had basically worked in the first place and I was in the right state when I made the pot I felt attached to it and I didn't want to lose it, so I, I put it back together again. I resuscitated it in a new way. Yeah. It looks all right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else I've missed who wanted to make a comment or ask a question? Yes, right at the back. Um, I'm a 
Uh, just wanted to make a comment that for me, um, abstract art works much, much better on a three dimensional surface. And I always want to take these paintings and form them into cylinders. <laughs> Anybody, I don't know if you have anything to say about that. Well, Patrick, look, I think you have the first right to reply to that. <laughs> yeah, I'd love the opportunity. Yeah, I'd love the opportunity to, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I have. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Sandy runs developed your creativity <laughs> workshop skills. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do realise that the um, you know the discipline that I have is to work on a flat surface and not not just a flat surface but a sort of screen, which is a visual screen, which can only be flat. And I know that it, it, it can't be, um, it's, a sacred, it's a sacred flatness for me. Um, you know, whether I go into it or come out of it, it it's, uh, that's what I do. That surf, that skin is what, is what I'm good at. I don't know what would happen on another, it, you know, it could just um, flunk. Um, yeah. Right, well, the theme of this evening is celebrating abstraction. Do you think we have celebrated it? Do we think we've pulled it apart? We, have we unveiled the mystery? Are there more things that anybody in the panel would like to add to it, take away from it? Where are we? <laughs> I have a yes. I just wondered what the panel's views were on the future of abstract art and how you think abstract art might change, if it stays the same, what, what might happen in the next 50 to 100 years. Well, Thank 50, you. 50 to 100 is quite, quite far, but in the, in the kind of more, more immediate future, I suppose the, the generation of artists that Patrick is part of who have a, a fairly open and easy, easy is the wrong word, but an open relationship to abstraction that you, it gives you pleasure. It's, it's something which is difficult, but which you believe in. Um, and I think one of the things that the, the abstract critical um, we, we deal with or we, we sort of up against in a sense is that a lot of young artists who are abstract artists don't really believe, um, don't have a sense of belief in, in what they do. And so there's a great kind of nervousness around it. Um, lo lots of painters will make abstract paintings that have a little twist that actually it's not an abstract painting, it's actually a painting of a, of a door or, or, or some, some, some other kind of referential thing. Um, so I think there's actually a sense which, although there are lots of people making abstract art, there is in the wider world, amongst lots of young artists, there's a sort of a sense of crisis around it. So it would be interesting to see, I don't know. And the use of digital as a tool is interesting when it comes to abstraction too. Yeah, well, I mean, how, how far, when, once you yeah. start moving away from painting and sculpture, what do you do then? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mel? Well, as I said earlier, you know, it's a hundred years of yeah. Uh, since the first avowedly abstract painting. And of course, it's true that there was a, a abstract qualities in all painting, and, and a great deal of abstract painting in the last hundred years, in a way, has, has fed on that history of, of abstraction within figuration, mm. if I can put it that way. It began a tremendous crisis, or a, a kind of explosion of creativity that was a response to a kind of crisis in, in, in the first uh, 20 years, 15 to 20 years of the century. The what crisis, came, politically, political crisis, crisis, everything, crisis yeah. artistic crisis, yeah. intellectual crisis. Um, crisis here not necessarily being a bad thing, but being a state of um, a, a radical change, a change thing, you know, it, it's a passage, it's yeah. a thing that, uh, and so it was like that. It, there was this tremendous explosion, and within 40 years, there had been so many manifestations, so many differences, so many varieties mm. of abstraction, so many possibilities being explored, and that continued one way or the other, with gaps and, and, and you know, uh, long years and moments when not much was happening, through to now. And I just think, um, that we have no idea where it, because it, it, it as it doesn't exist, where they are going to go. All I know is that I have a tremendous sense of potential and possibility because it's this, because it's this amazing 
uh, for artists, this gives them an amazing kind of discipline and freedom at the same time. Um, and it seems to me that uh, there's no reason to suppose that there are, there are kinds of abstraction that we cannot possibly envisage, but which will emerge, you know, as, as time goes by. And out of, as much as anything else, out of the sort of crisis... Well, yeah, exactly, yeah, I mean, that, that's true. The crisis of confidence yeah. in painting, for example, that happened in the 70s, basically, when, you know, when people began to say, you know, painting is dead, in another way than they had said it in the middle of the 19th century, when they thought photography would replace figuration. So, you know, it, it is that kind of, that there's a, it just seems to be enormously potential. And it's people saying state. drawing is dead, but you go to the Jerwood oh. in, in Biddeford, and my goodness, it's not dead. No, no, of course yeah. not. And now it's painting. Yeah. And it it's, could be poised on a, on a, a, a marvellous period. Your thoughts? 50, I, I, 100 years time? I think it'll go on for quite a bit longer. I think anything that continues to raise questions and engage people, whether, you know, if, if it's Soulage's last show was one of the most visited shows. Um, in Paris. In Paris, yeah, and, you know, basically the black paintings. Yes, <laughs> But, you know, it got absolute huge. So there's a new generation of people who look to Solange now, and that would filter, filter through. So I think as long as there are problems to be worked out, artists love working out problems, and they, uh, and they love working out the next problem. <laughs> so I, I think that uh, it will go on for quite a while longer. But as you say, there's an overlap now with various digital media and lots of other things that we, as I said, we, we can't even envisage yet. But. So there's the answer to your question at the back. Big question mark, really. Well, I'm going to stop the discussion now. Um, I think we have been celebrating Stratton. We've had lots of views and ideas. We've had some wonderful illustrations. We've had disagreements, agreements. We've had pattering of the heart. We've had a lot of head work. We've had some good questions and comments. Thank you all very much, panelists. Thank you, you two, for feeding us with everything we can see around us. Fantastic. And thank you, the audience. And we look forward to seeing the film. At least we think we look forward to seeing it. <laughs> when will it be on the website? I, I have absolutely no idea. Right. <laughs> okay. Sometime. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. Let's.